entrepreneurship is weird and that some people put it on a pedestal. Like it's very much like, yes, entrepreneurs, this is awesome. But it's also highly criticized. There's like both sides of the coin with it, where it's like, there's so many people who aren't successful. It's so hard, you know? And so there's, it's, it's a difficult place to be in. And especially after leaving a job like you had that has so much notoriety, you know, how did you overcome the idea of what some people might think when you, when you cut the safety net? (laughs) Oh my gosh, that is actually, um, you know, I think a lot of that is just to do with ego. Um, I, I had to overcome that because as an, you know, as somebody who had been in this one industry for 15 plus years, you know, who, and I've worked as an editor and a journalist in India and in the U S and that becomes so wrapped up with your identity. And when you do something, when you dare to do something outside of that, there's this like, <gasps> oh my gosh, you know, what are people going to think? And the people that you're worried about, the people that I was worried about was mostly like my former colleagues, right? Um, and so it's it's hard because sometimes you don't even know that you're telling yourself these stories. You know, it's sometimes that you have to be challenged on it. Like, whose opinion are you worried about? And then you think about it and you, and you feel back the layers and you're like, oh, why, why do I care what they think? I no longer, you know, I'm working over there. The people who truly understand me and who, you know, who I'm still in touch with will understand and cheer me on. And everybody else thinks this is fantastic. So like, really, who am I trying to please? And this is more of those sort of external validation things, right? Just like the awards. And it's like the opinion of people, people who don't even matter to you. So, you know, why are you bending over your backwards to please them or some imagined version of them? Most likely, they're not even paying attention to what you're doing, you know? And at the end of the day, like, are you excited to wake up in the morning and do what you do? Are you, are you, are you satisfied when you go to bed at night? You know, when you're in the zone, like, do ideas come to you like water and you're just like churning them out? Um, and if you're, if, if, if you're saying yes to all of those things then who cares what anybody else thinks. That's beautiful. (laughs) Life shouldn't be a slog, right? We should be loving what we're doing. And I was telling her right before we started the interview that I ran downstairs and roller skated in my basement real quick (laughs) before this started, because I was like, (laughs) what is something that I enjoy doing? That's going to fuel me in to even enjoying this interview even more than I already would. And so that was a very proactive thing that my husband is so great at reminding me of the importance of those sorts of things. And so I'm so lucky to have him in my life and people like you who are constantly seeking the joy and seeking, seeking good things, uh, because it is so important. And we, we often get stuck in, you know, it has to be this way. It has to be that way. And like you said, we, we tell ourselves these stories uh, and, and everyone has a story about us, right? And that's okay. You know, everybody has a version of who you are and everybody who I know has a version of who I am, but that might not be the version of who I am today because we're always yeah. changing. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we can be different things. We don't have to be stuck in this one identity, which is, you know, the thing that I'm learning every day. Like I'm doing one thing today. I could be doing something totally different tomorrow and they are all me, you know? <sighs> yes. <laughs> yes, that's okay. I, I just, I, I feel like that is a real challenge right now. I, that's a real challenge. And I think also with social media and the fact that we can see who everybody is all the time, that if suddenly somebody changes, it's like very, it's very striking. Like, wait, mm-hmm. I thought they were this, you know, and we all do that because we're always trying to, we're always trying to wrap our minds around who, what something is. That's our human nature, right? <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. 